Hi Collective. Um, I just want to show you guys before we start my statue. And we're going to be doing an unboxing of um, our cards, my cards, and my candle. And we have a new pendulum turquoise. So, all right, let's begin. We're going to start um, the video. I'm trying to figure out this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I hope everybody's great. Um, got my shirt and my onyx. So, let's um, start out with the Practical Magic Inner which oracle. This was on Temu, and these are the cards. We have um, these cards. Um, I don't think they're gonna fit with these. These ones might be different sizes. Actually, they are a little tiny bit smaller. All right, so yeah. We have the Cosmic Dreamer oracle cards. We have the mandras for body, mind, and spirit. These were all on Temu. We have the Seasons of the Witch, the Egyptian Tarot, and the Will Get Love um, deck as well. Okay. So, let's start off with, um, we're just going to pull the cards. Like, as I would do a normal reading, and I'll just incorporate these decks in them for you guys. I am as exhausted, honestly. I was going to lay down and take a nap. Um, I ended up having the day off from work. I'm going to work Sunday now. And um, I mowed for the neighbor. I got that done today. Um, she's going to pay me. She's I'm going to be mowing once a week for her, so that's cool. It's Kind of a big yard, so I'm a little whooped. Not gonna lie. This is the um, Seasons of the Witch Oracle. We have the Egyptian Tarot, which is a cool deck. Um, I don't know if I'll be using these in today's reading. I kind of wanted to use the Beautiful Beast. Which I have one for sale. I might be just um, raffling it off as a um, deck. So if you guys want to um, comment down below for subscribers, um, you got to be a subscriber. Um, comment down below the Beautiful Beast Tarot. Um, and you'll have a chance to win that with a cowbone necklace on me. I'll pay for shipping. So that's all you got to do is subscribe to my channel. And you'll have a chance to get in and win a free deck. Okay. So. All right. What's coming in for you guys? What are the messages? And what do you guys need to know and be aware of at this time? my collectives. Let's roll the dice. We have Scorpio number eight with uh, Venus, Taurus, and Libra. Friday, love, money, aesthetics, and receiving. Also go to um, Blue Moon Tarot and subscribe to there. That's my other channel. Um, I will be starting to post um, videos. I'm going to be renaming it, so I would subscribe to it now if you would. Um, blue Moon Tarot. The picture is of a blue moon. The default picture. Um, if you guys would do that so kindly. And, yeah. I'm going to be doing Reiki on that channel, I think, and other um, specific um, videos. I think I might combine these decks. I'm not sure yet. Still thinking about it. Alright. Sorry, I'm just 
I'm a little tired, like I said. All right, let's begin. We're going to pull a runes for you guys. Um, and this will be for um, any zodiac sign. But if you are Scorpio or any other zodiac sign, water signs, you may resonate with this video and find that you have a message in it for you. So let's begin. This is the Cosmic Whisper Runes deck. And you won't find that on uh, Etsy or Amazon. This is, um, you're going to have to type it in on Google to find this deck. But they do have good decks on Etsy that are runes. Right, it's coming in, please. Let's ring the bell. Today is Archangel Gabriel with the white ray uh, purity. I'll be able to reach down on that. So we're gonna light our white candle for communication. Um, I do do personal readings for forty dollars. Also, all my information is on my bio, and if you want me to make another um, specific zodiac sign video, let me know in the comments. So don't forget to comment down below um, Beautiful Beast Tarot, and I will be doing, or a Cabo Necklace, either or, and you'll have to be entered in for a chance to win. We have the Gez, the Day. We had this card earlier, I think. So Degas is all about change directed by your own will and transformation. So we'll get um, past, present, and future energy. Okay, past we have Perthro. I feel like this is the present. Perthro, fate. It says... Initiation, knowledge of one's destiny, knowledge of future matters, determining the future of your path. And my little jean jacket. I got them today. That's cute. And then the future we have Kinez, the torch with Yurez. Ooh, this is all about um, your power. This is about... Uh, freedom, energy, action, courage, strength, nasty, understanding, and wisdom. And Kinez, the torch, is all about uh, vision, revelation, knowledge, creativity, inspiration, technical stability. All right. At the bottom, we have Gibo, the gift. Gifts, both in the sense of sacrifice and of generosity. So I'm going to pull from the book, read from the book. So, pair throw. Seventy-three. It says meaning, fate, lot, cup, and luck. With mystery, female energy, and fertility, the unknown, the unmanifest, good omen, guessing, evolutionary change, importance of coincidence, change in gamble. Perthro, or Perth, represents a vessel possibly for casting lots or something to be filled and drunk from. Like, think of the, um, the ox horns. Actually, if those are good to have in the home. You put um, whatever, you got to make sure it's real, not like synthetic. Put something in it that you want to manifest. Same with the bay leaf tra trees. You write on the, um, the laurel bay leaf. You write on the leaf what you want to manifest. And it's good if you put it outside of your front um, door. And it will keep evil away. Same with the, um, the ox horn. Um, put something in it you want to manifest. And then it will eventually come to manifest. So I found that pretty fascinating. So a lot cup... To be filled and drunk from, a lot cup was a dice game used for games of chance and fate. In ancient times, gods were associated with destiny by playing a mysterious dice game. A lot cup 
was also a box in which warriors would draw their lots to learn about their fate before a battle. Interesting. And then we have this rune is one of the most mysterious ones as it points to randomness. Um, the unknown and infinite possibilities. Its name is unknown to the scholars and although may have agreed that the lot cup is fitting, it's linked strongly to the unknown and quality. There is a big part of our unmanifested future that lays in the hands of chance. Perthro deals with the mysteries of the future and the birth of the universe. Fate, karma, deja vu, and coincidence play an enormous role in the mysteries of Perthro. Number four, and this is 14. Okay. Perthro speaks of a change that is out of your hands that is neither black or white as fate is a powerful, complex, and unknown force. So socially, meaning of rebirth of connections long lost. Financially, Perthro foretells a beneficial and unexpected changes ahead. You will get back what you have given. Law of cause and effect. Love. Perthro is a rune of fertility and may signify pregnancy or birth. Harmony and understanding and peace are prevailing between partners. Health, healing and recovering from a long-term sickness, we, grant, we regain our optimism and hopes. While fate is a strong force and perthro, remember that you always have the choice and power. No power and nobody can influence you unless you want to be influenced. You decide how much you allow the actions and reactions of others. Unexpected obstacles and unpredictable outcomes affect your life. Perthro reminds us to accept that can't always be in control us to accept that can't always be in control of every situation but that doesn't mean we have to give up working on our actions for a positive outcome even if something seems like a coincidence random events might play a significant role in changing your destiny perthro can also point to the act of drinking or games of chance so symbolism loneliness emotional physical financial addictions delusional or delusion sorry fantasy unknowing unknowability and stagnation so that um that might be reversed yeah that's reversed okay so we have dagaz digaz 109 yeah we had that earlier so it means the day and the dawn awakening realization enlightenment another day hope daylight awareness happiness the ideal breakthrough achievement prosperity brightness development progress, growth, and fundamental change. Vegas speaks of the most common and natural cycle of the day and night. What rises must fall. What increases must decrease. Night and day are in perfect balance, as there is in all things. This rune is associated closely with light and life, and the symbol for Degas has been used more, used more than 4,000 years to represent it. The symbol shows also the infinity of this action as the night will fall and the sun will rise for forever. This rune embodies the ultimate breakthrough. I just got chills there. The end of the night and the beginning of the day. The dark times are over and the difficulties are behind you. Only growth and progress lies ahead. Jera refers to the yearly cycle while Degez is connected with the daily cycle. Both runes embody change. Jera is a gentle change, while Degez is for the bold, radical transformation into its opposite, or the burst of light in the darkness. It's not a slow transition, but a groundbreaking change that is happening in the now. So actions, socially. Degez foretells a lot of success, the light at the end of the road that brings happiness, growth, and reward. And this is for the future energy, or present, sorry. Past, future, and then, no. Past, present, and future. Financially, this rune announces the overcome of a crisis, regaining prosperity and general abundance. Love, mutual understanding, communication, and self-sacrifice -sacri that make you happy, content, and satisfied in a relationship. Health, harmony, balance, and relief in time of suffering. Exposure to the sun in particular is a treatment that goes hand in hand with the gez. Degas reminds us that your goal is supported by the divine light. This light gives you the clearest vision, illuminating every dark corner of your path. So Degas signifies a happy and well-lived life and a person who is balanced and in harmony with themselves and everything that surrounds them. Degas is a very fortunate rune for telling bright days, positive and good forces at work to your favor. You have crossed through a dark place and now a new day arises. 
great transformation and positive changes are also upon you. New, path, new pathways are open, leading you to well-earned success and prosperity. We have Kinez for the future. 41. Okay, this is Kinez. And we have Uraz too, the wild ox. So the torch and the wild ox for the future. So you're being shown the way and you're going to be um, prevailing with great strength and fortitude, I feel like. Um, you're going to probably be able to, or be asked from the universe to be strong and to humble yourself in order to see things, um, in, in the light and to be respected and represented in the highest of all forms. Um, with that being said, we have meaning. So Kinez, number six. Torch, pine torch. So you may have a decision. Number six is the lovers and the tarot, Gemini energy, a choice between two. We also have symbolism, enlightenment, brightness of spirit, fire, heat, illumination, erratic love, knowledge, togetherness, gathering, light, creativity, transformation, feminine energy. So with Kinez or Canoe, Kano, we explore our inner frontiers. This rune is deeply associated with feminine wisdom, cunning, matrinin matrilineal relations and yoni the goddess's v vaginal opening yoni i didn't know that it represents healing the control and harnessing of fire for warmth and illumination a vaginal opening is yoni hmm. kinez signifies the mysteries of transformation and our power to create just like nature does creation through fire rebirth through sacrifice kinez is the rune of artisan and may often appear in readings where creative mind seeks for creative solutions. It signifies new ideas shining brightly in the darkness. What was once dark and static is now active, warm, and creative. This rune will light your path and journey, the one Radio speaks about, and it will dispel darkness, fear, and will, sh um, fear and will shed light on any dangers. This is Kinez. It is the spark that starts everything, the impulse we have that triggers into action that we originally had in mind. So socially, Kinez signifies discovery of many aspects and things that were hidden to you will be helpful. Significant power, action, and freedom. Financially, sudden growth and considerable profit. It also reminds us that in order to achieve financial growth, creative ideas must be taken into action. Love, love and lo or lust and love. Being the rune of Freya, Kinez speaks of long-lasting bonds with someone who is truly compatible with you. Kinez reminds you to follow your heart in matters of love rather than your mind. Health. Kinez brings good health, fast and long-lasting recoveries, and vitality. It may also indicate wounds created by heat, blisters, sun, fire. Kinez is, very positive, is a very positive rune to appear in a reading, signifying a period of increased activity and energy, creativity, and illumination. Kinez announces a moment where you'll... You will realize your purpose, your entire reason for being, a sudden insight and enlightenment. And enlightenment. This enlightenment and knowledge, however, won't come without sacrifice. This rune is strongly associated with gaining new knowledge, whether they be by being observant or through study and reflection. And we have eras. This is gonna, this is um, I studied a little bit on this last night, and it had me in, like it had my attention to this rune in particular. Um, so that's why I said it might be significant for you at this time. That's why it's coming up again. 25. Okay, so number two. So this is um, High Priestess Energy, Virgo and Gemini Energy. So here we go, meaning wild ox and orc Orox, symbolism, physical health, endurance, courage, manifestation, primary force, raw beastly power, freedom, vitality, brute energy, stamina, determination, and survival. Like I was saying. The second rune of the elder, Fathark, is a res, Uvros, or Ur. The Oryx was a wild ancestor of domestic cattle, which dominated Europe's plain up until the Dark Ages, extinct in 1627. It is the symbol of raw primal power that cannot be suppressed. Uras is a token of body and mental health. 
determinations and new beginnings, an opportunity disguised as a treat, mental agility, endurance, and male sexual potency. In contrast to Fehu, Fehu, yeah, the symbol of domesticated cattle, Yerez represents the wild, undomesticated cattle, reminding us that deep inside we were all once wild creatures. Life's persistence and its endless resourcefulness in the task of survival are all implicit within the ruin meaning of Yerez. Thus, it is a ruin of manifestation, gener regeneration, and endurance. It is the pure, unharnessed life force that comes from determination and tenacity. Socially, Yerez signifies particular di di uh, dynamism, dynamism, strength, control, and dominion, as well as advantage, a remarkable ascension and a sudden change. Financially, Urez announces a substantial and unexpected gain as a result of risk taken before that now pays off, but only for a short period. Love. Urez is a token for primary attraction between two people, the purest form of sexuality and beastly attraction. It brings passion, sexual harmony, and revitalization in a couple or fury affairs and passionate adventures that soon consume themselves for a single. Health. As a representation of vitality, Yurez brings good health, strength, and endurance. The will of life is strong with Yurez, and recovery is swift and sudden. With will and determination, the circumstances will shape and form in a creative way that will work in your favor. Yurez is a bringer of fortunate circumstances, but not without hard work. Our society can bring many obstacles and difficult events, but remember that you are never helpless or alone. The strength of your ancestors who face many <laughs> menaces flows in your veins. Meet the challenges with courage, for this is actually an initiation into a higher state of being. You will be stronger and wiser for it. So that's what we have out of this book. And this was called The Cosmic Whisper. Runes Oracle. All right. Let's get into it, guys. Um, we're going to get into these decks first. Which is the Cosmic Dreamer um, Oracle and the Seasonal Witches Oracle. Oh, I just seen Transformation. Okay, what's coming in, please, for my collectors at this time? What are the messages? Um, what do we need to know and be aware of at this time? I hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope you're doing great. Happy Friday. Alright, let's get into it. First card out, we have fortune. Maybe fame and fortune lie ahead for some of you. Or you're on your way on the up and up. I don't know if this is speaking of fortune is in the sense of money or um, fame. Like being seen in a public, like a public figure in the public eye. The enchantress with... Yeah, this deck is just slightly bit smaller, I think, or bigger than the other one. We have the Ench Enchantress. Some of you need to um, better protect yourself. Protection's in reverse with Cauldron in reverse. So, Cauldron, bewitching. Yes, it be... Blink and you shall see a bubbling desire left in the brewing rain. This is the season's witch. We have protection, so 10 and now 29. This is my house, stained by the very blood flowing through its walls, covered in a veil of delicious prayers, yet deadly to those who dare lift its hidden. Dare lift its hidden. That was pretty deep, I'm not going to lie. The floating island, rebirth, and ancestors. So you have support from all around you right now, I feel like. Something's not as it seems. Something's celestial frequency. Graveyard, 18. With Chimera. 
I don't know what that means in sacred geometry. All right, it says, there is a song that bellows in the peace of knowing no end and acknowledging the crossroads of eternity. The celestial frequency with the harp. This is pretty deep, I'm not gonna lie. Cosmic egg, yeah, you're um, birthing or creating something in its rawest form right now, or protecting something. You're taking quantum leaps. Astral voyage, some of you may literally be into astral travel. I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race. We have null. We have the inner labyrinth. You guys have figured something out within yourselves. You've solved like a jinx puzzle. You guys may have like literally solved something. We have ancestors. Number three, they hiss a quivering so deep only roots of your soil can lift the nakedness hidden within the vows made in silence. An ancient chill waking upon the spine. And did you guys see my little cat candle? I have um, a cat sniffing a butterfly with like a moon. I have, um, like I said, I have a pencil cream. I have, now I have the Solomon sigil. I have the glow in the dark raven. And I have the Hecate. And I have Hecate right there. Hers. The statue that just came in, I just got here. So, a lot is going on. We also have her Hecate oil over there that I made. I have another bottle I just purchased. Um, I'm here. I'm going to shine your light on me. I actually spilled that oil. By the way, I went to reach for that cat thing because it was hanging up there, and I tipped it over. It didn't have a cork on it. I've been using a piece of ginger root. We have rebirth and a spell all over four. It's pissed. Um, did I even have a candle light? Is it on? Yeah, I got the right one. Alright, we have rebirth number 31. There's death in all that awakens, for it isn't blissful nor painless. It's a mighty rising, O flame resurrected. With the garden of dream. I feel kind of like sick right now my stomach hurts i don't know maybe some of you guys aren't feeling well yet either or going through something if this resonates let me know in the comments or hit the like button we have serpent serendipitous path i mean these may not be from this um i think some of you guys may only be here for like a higher awakening a soul purpose level to teach um, other people how to awaken in this lifetime to open their senses to activate something here. This is powerful stuff with these cards. We have Elders 15. You guys may be old souls. Birth from seed within the belly of the moon. They are the wise felt touches over our hearts and felt deep within their the marrow of our spirit. What is going on? What are the mess... Someone might be cleaning up a mess after somebody. Messages. The surreal sea, literally. You guys might be evoking something very powerful within yourselves at this time. Or conjuring up something. I have to post some of my decks on uh, Mercana, Mer Mercari.com for uh, for sale. Like One of them is the Daemonology Tarot. I think I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell them anywhere from 10 to 15. We have room number 8. With the arcane machine. Oops. Sorry, guys. What dreams may come from what you seek? Make room, make way, a clearing need be. This may even have to do with what you've been taught. Um, or you're going to be taught. By s divine, by spirit, from source. Um, enchanted words, messages, um, knowledge, your pathway is, op is awakened, you're awakened up to a new pathway, um, journey, number 24, yeah, 
with nature spirits 26 we have number 24 daughters of our mother walkers of the unknown take with you on this journey all that you hone nature spirits on your toes twirl and twirl until you're ready to take flight they arrive in the winds beneath your wings and speak through the swaying of the trees. And we have ritual. Apples, number four, with birch trees. Birch trees. To taste, one must swallow it whole, and beneath the satin flame hides drowning waters. Wow. She looks like a witch with intuition and reflection. 23, you hold the answers, you know the truths. Ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind. I was actually looking up a whole bunch of um, third eye things today, for evil eyes for protection, uh, wind chimes and things hanging here. We have reflection 32 and 23 confirmation. Be wary of things you believe to see with eyes wide shut, for they are mirrors of the mad and truths only spoken with a bleeding tongue. I can't believe this deck. Um, maybe that's part of the message. What you're about to see or witness with your own eyes or soul or something about your senses, you're being asked to be flexible and awaken and be ready to be receiving whatever this is you're going to be receiving we have the transcendent light and the serpent serpents are all about healing with the cosmic dance you're going to be um shown the way all hollows eve number one and enchant entanglement was in reverse so you're becoming unentangled you're becoming activated and alive all Hallows Eve, call upon the voices that stir your senses through the night. Cast an unforgiven howl as you stamp your might through the ground. To me, this is about reclaiming or taking your power back. I'm hearing that's a must. This was a bracelet that I received today, but it's a little too big for me. So like with all my um, things, I keep my third eye, my equal eyes over here when together. Okay. Wild. <laughs> You're wild. All right, let's get a couple more. And then we'll get from the... Um, Mudras, M-U-D-R-A-S, which is the chakras, your chakra, free will and the cosmic web with black sun. Somebody may have entangled you with their lies or their traps, deception. We have frog, 17. May the lily beneath your breasts allow you to drink from its healing waters. Be still, for there is serenity behind the drowning croaks. Which I have a lot of frog things that resonate with frogs. Maybe this is confirmation for somebody out there that you're um, stronger than you ever thought you were. We have the butterfly effect with the mystical eye, the all-seeing eye, with co-creation and alignment. You are on your um, truest, you are on your true path in here, in like rawest form or something. Um, and and uh, this has to do with you, I feel like, very much so. Let me see. Let me put these back. I need a drink. I'm like getting a headache. I have my tea up here. You just want this. Hey. 
you doing, Dodo? Okay. So I'm back. Yeah, what a crazy message, right? This is crazy. Well, we're about to find out. I don't think I've ever had a um, <laughs> reading this intense before, to be honest with you. Like, not intense, but like deep. Those cards were very deep. Now we're going to pull from the Practical Magic Inner Witch Oracle, which is this one. We have Tiger's Eye Balance and find out, um, which I did mention in my earlier video today. Um, I was brought to say, brought up upon to, to say, um, if you're working with fire elements, um, for that certain stones, Tiger's Eye was one of them I said in the videos. All right, let's get the, um, one D. Um, actually we're going to wait off on this one. We're going to get this one first, like I was just saying. Stuck. Okay. And my terminated quartz came in today too, which is this crystal. I do a lot of crystal healing, and if you guys are new, then you're not going to know this about me. But I do. Um, I just started doing a Reiki course. Um, taking a Reiki class, so I'm mainly solely going to use that channel, Blue Moon Tarot, and change the name of it so I can put my Reiki videos and healing videos on that platform instead of this one. And that's why I want to get up to a thousand subscribers, um, because we can start our platform, our channel, on this one, and we can get together every month um, our Patreon and s stay informed and um, talk, do our live Zoom meetings and talk and be able to um, you know, just talk about whatever, um, spirituality, work out, all that good stuff and exchange information about the subject and we'll learn something. It'll be fun. So don't forget to subscribe. Okay, we have Toad and we have Clear Quartz, Divine and Connection with Awareness. What's coming in, please? What is this message all about pertaining to my viewers? I'm hearing the road less traveled. So yeah, you're going to have a huge, um, if you don't know this already about yourself, um, a huge soul um, a purpose purpose. My little bamboo Jasper. I love my little gargoyle. I also got him on Temu too. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Ooh, resurrection. Recklessness with wisteria meditation. That's a type of tree. Are you taking your power back from somebody who left it? butterfly figure in your life or a, someone who you went through a metamorphosis with we have firefly auras and observe you're going to be calling in somebody very soon to you i feel like because you're you're um tapping into your power maybe for some the first time or you're rediscovering this part about yourself that you never have before. We have Sparrow Trouble. You may have been considered a child, um, not a child, a problem child growing up or just was always in trouble or something like that. We have Water Element Emotions with Amas Veritas Manifest and Blood on the Moon D Destiny. something or someone's going to be coming and filling up your cup, maybe even your um, self or your divine 
lineage or ancestor. This is taking me to a whole another place, like a very like earthy, air elemental, freeing, windy being feeling. It's really nice. It's rejuvenating. It's refreshing. We have blood bond connections with firefly auras and observe. We have butterfly happiness. We have book of shadows lineage and roots with rose quartz healing. And I did say that in my when I used my unicorn oracle earlier. I said the pink looks like a rose quartz. I'm really tired, so don't mind me. Like I said, I was busy all morning. I was mowing. We have divination. I could take a nap. Um, beyond the veil with tea, inner wisdom. I almost feel like these decks were like made for me. Like, what? Oh, I'm just doing a reading. What are you doing? I think he's going golfing. We have Toad Awareness with Midnight Margaritas Truth and Garden Gate possibilities with clear quartz divine connection anything else so clear quartz are for enhancing um, and they're really good useful for the crown chakra to let energy come in and flow we also have black kitten and her child and we have new moon, new beginnings with wisteria again at the bottom, meditation. I'm really being called to this deck. This was another new one that I got. Um, this was also on Temu, the golden foil or something, a gold foil. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to pull from the um, chakra oracle, what you need to know the kundas or whatever called Ma madras madras that's an orange box it's also on 10 i mean all right so we have higher meaning be profound with moderation no 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 and flexibility if this way no if not this way then be that way and it will say on the back of the card um like a this is my life and all i do here and now are the expressions of a deeper meaning with gesture of self-realization, what's the meaning of life, what is the sense of all the challenges which we have to face and the blows of fate which buffet us time and again. And they'll also say like the chakra, that's why there's colors, like the greens for the heart chakra, the blues for uh, the throat, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, what are the messages at this time? We have stomach mon mudra. Fortifies the stomach and calms the nerves with dedicated to the great snake goddess Nag Man Mudra. The snake goddess Naga symbolizes supernatural power, wisdom, cunning, and potency. The mudra resolves emotional and mental tension. I decide with a clear head and a benevolent heart. Calmness and equanimity are witness to my inner strength. Numbers 37 and 62. I was going to say 17. Some of you guys might resonate with that number. That's Aquarius energy. I have one placement Aquarius in my chart, and I really, maybe that's why I feel that way. Um, it's my Aquarian in me. It's coming out, which I never feel that element. I have two Capricorn as well. Three Scorpio, which I feel a lot, and the three Sagittarius, which I feel a lot. So let's see, other um, two that I don't, two placements that I don't really feel that often, but all right, what do we need to know? It's actually, a, it's a sigh, a breath of fresh air, I almost feel like. Knowing your placement, your place in this earth, you're the world, I just had got really tense um, heart. Some of you guys may literally um, be suffering from depression or grief or some form of sadness, heartbreak syndrome right now. 
It's called HB Heartbreak, and that is a real thing. Look it up. Maybe some of you want to get into the medical field. Um, be healer of all sorts. I'm hearing you're very equipped. You're very um, smart for the job to be done. Well done. Performance mudra and fairness mudra. Mm. Sorry, I gotta flip it over. Self confidence. I am sure with justice. I am not to judge. And this is your third eye chakra. The purple. With the green connectedness, I belong. And I think this might actually even be sign language. Um, self confidence. Justice. And connectedness, I belong. This is very cool. I like these because I actually have an Indian sign language book that I found or that was given to me. Um, and I've always wanted to do sign language. Like we learned it in elementary school, how to do the alphabet as well as um, the anthem, the anthem song. Or no, uh, Pledge Allegiance. Okay, we have a little bit of um, fire coming out and earth. So, charisma, the root chakra, you are beautiful. Also protected here. I'm seeing this symbol, the pharaoh symbol of protection there. With moderation, no, no, no. With the butterfly, so change. It's going to be uh, painful, but you're on your way through a deep, Personal, transpersonal change for some of you guys with the heart and healing. Sexuality be sensual. It awakens the sensuality and sexual energies. Number 15, I meet the world with an open heart and open arms. Affection and love flow back to me. We have level headedness, be wise. 15% on my phone. Confirmation. Capricorn energy. Reason, think it over. Constructive and positive thoughts are the seed corn of a life fulfillment and joy. With relief, the last overboard. I am ready to welcome a promising future. With I rock myself with a gentle emotion and bathe in a wonderful ocean of peace. Inner peace be still, number 34. We have vitality staying young at the, uh, here. I look forward to life's adventures with enthusiasm, anticipation, and gusto. Number 39. Um, yeah, let's, uh, wrap this boat and see what, um, we'll use the Beautiful Beasts Tarot to clarify. We have the Hermit with the Ace of Wands. I feel like you're, um, oh, sorry. You're going to be, I'm hearing self-fulfilling self prophecy. You're going to really be coming out of something and showing the world, showing your true essence, your true colors um, to the world of who you really are. We have justice. I've seen the high priestess. We have the nine of cups here. The hierophant, the world, and the two of wands that flew out of the deck. Because these cards are very slippery, guys. Told you. All right. Maybe you were dealing for somebody in your life, guys, who was slippery and you had to walk away. Take some time out for you, literally. Five of Pentacles, walk away. Could have been the King of Cups. Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. But now you're refining your spark, your um, to get back. 
to where you want to be get your head in the game. Page of Cups. Okay. The Moon. Okay, Nine of Wands. Just when you were about to give up and um, I'm hearing finish something is when something is going to come in for you and really rock your world in a good way. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. That's that ending with the world. Four of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Moon. You wondered if this opportunity would ever come in for you in your life, and I'm hearing it has. I think it's happening right now for you. If you didn't know that, well, it is. Let's get two more cards. Empress at the bottom. Death, the Devil, the Sun, King of Swords, Four of Wands, the Hermit. Look at you. You are approaching and you're looking glossy now. Like you're, you've gained the wisdom. You're a force to be reckoned with. Um, something about this situation has not only made you grow and exceed your limits of potential, but now you're going to be a beacon of hope and light to other people in the future. Like, I think you, you might even, this might even be in terms of for some leaving a legacy, some form of legacy um, in the future one way or the other. Yeah, the Empress is coming out. The seven, the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of... I think you passed numerous tests. You passed a couple of tests and you don't even know that you passed tests. You literally may have karmically... Um, or you may have passed so many karmic psych lessons... In this lifetime, I'm hearing four to be exact. Let's get your overall energy. I'm hearing number 11. So 11, 11, 11s are portal numbers. King of Wands. I'm hearing time stands still. The way it did before. Shadow Moses by Bringing the Horizon. We have Page of Swords. You may be literally um, walking into fame and fortune for some of you in this lifetime. Your person may be a celebrity or you may be um, a celebrity. You may have a platform. Either way, you're being uh, introduced to the love of your life. I'm hearing reintroduced, or this is going to be the first time for some of you guys meeting this person. All right, let's get their energy. I don't feel well either, so I literally, like, my head feels warm. I hope I'm not getting sick. I'm going to take a nap when I get off of here because I honestly feel like I'm getting sick with something. This is all about two for some of you, a message about working yourself to death. Don't do it. It's not worth it. For the price, it's not worth it. 
Queen of Pentacles. For the price they're paying you, or willing to pay you, it's not working yourself. It's not worth working yourself to the bone. Bone dry. It's really not. What is this person's intentions? Ace of Swords. What are their, their future actions? How do they feel about my collective? How does this person feel about my collective? Aren't these cards so pretty, guys? They really are. Parafont. Some of you they might... <laughs> With the Nine of Pentacles, they may want to marry you. They may want to have a family with you and plant the seed, I'm hearing. Like, have kids so they can um, carry out a uh, legacy. The, um, your family line, your last name, the tradition, the family tradition for some. A legacy. I keep hearing, feeling like this is something to do with a legacy. The star, the queen of wands, star in reverse, queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Gemini energy, we have Aquarius energy, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius again, we have the world, Sagi, Temperance, we have Taurus, which is the Empress, we have the Knight of Cups coming out, one more card, last card. I'm here and take care of your pets. Um, one of your pets may um, get sick or be getting sick, so you really need to keep a close eye on your pets. Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a past person. They're in this Nine of Pentacles right now, but they want to move towards you after something settles down, the dust settles in the situation. You're really tapped in. I, I feel like your third eye is all the way open. You're really you're tapped into your gifts all the way. And everyone around you can see it and knows it. Like you are this high priestess, whether you know it or not. You didn't know it because there was so much confusion and maybe um, emotions or so much going on beneath the surface, or maybe you didn't have the time to acknowledge it because, like I said, conflict, chaos, maybe troubled times, toxic partners, toxic patterns, um, just people coming and going out of your life. Maybe you were not, you know, unstable in your life for a little while there, so you didn't really know where you were going or what your purpose was. Um, and path was your soul calling but now you do eight of cups six of pentacles i'm hearing you're walking right into um for some this money if it doesn't have nothing to do with money this definitely has to do with just you knowing yourself um, better and and like your power um, you like I said you're gonna shine from within your strengths and true purposes and powers are gonna be revealed to you because um, it's happening right now people know better than to cross you or um, they know who you are they know better collective. they know not to fuck with you I'm hearing Two of Swords. Because this person, you might even be instant, you might be walking karma. This person, as soon as um, they come across you and they think they can pull one over on you or whatever, you know, uh, perhaps then they know, or uh, they may not know, but that, yeah, whatever they try to do to you against your will sets this person up for instant uh, karma. Not sets them up, but. You know what I mean? They, they're they going to be faced with your wrath. Okay, let's get one more for the outcome, the overall energy. The tower, like I was saying, just saying that. Nobody can fool you. No one can pull a fast one over on you. Seven of Swords is all about being sneaky or trying to 
Like I said, don't overwork yourself to the bone. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't take on more than you can take or handle. Love, I'm hearing, is a second chance. So relearning um, or learning how to give a second chance. Maybe you need to forgive yourself or forgive a person or both. Because this person, this love, is worth a second chance. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Let's get the advice. So, like, I have to really hang on to my cards so they don't fly out of my hands. Do you really have to hang on to something in your life so it doesn't slip out of your out of your life for good? Metaphorically, that's somebody needed to hear that message. So, Blue Moon Tarot. Um, we're doing the raffle, the giveaway for the deck and the necklace. So cowbell necklace or beautiful beast tarot, comment down below. Also check out my bio or my Amazon wish list or my cash app via email. If you'd like to book a personal reading or um, just email me about anything. My signature oils um, to turn like arousal oil and to attract a person to you that smells really good it's called sex love and me is 9.99 and will come on a roll-on oil bottle um email me for that as well if you're interested um and purchasing that all my information is on my link all right so we have the sun with the four wands the fool the wheel of fortune and strength the emperor five of swords king of pentacles you guys are moving into a whole new uh I'm hearing um, Epiphany Tower or Epiphany Mag Momentous, something like that, like powers. It's going to transpire beyond the exceeded um, times and space, um, whatever this huge transformation is in your life, because you've been reluctant to accept it. Or reluctant to see it, not, not accept it. Because if you would have known it was there to begin with, you probably would have accepted it. Unless you were um, intimidated by the amount of power that you truly had. Or other people were. And you were just holding, holding the power back from yourself. Protecting yourself and others because of, out of fear, out of, there could be many reasons why. Ace of Wands. Maybe you didn't know how to control the power that you had within you. Um, it maybe it seemed like it was too too much at the time, right? Now you know. Now you do, and you can do one of two things with it. You can either create to the to create in the extent of having, or you can destroy. So you can either destroy or you can create with the power that you have deep within your collective. So choose wisely, is all I'm going to say. Life is too short. Um, be humble. Learn how to forgive. Um, be the better person at the end of the day. Just remember, like, you can continue trauma or how you were treated, say, in a, you know, then keep passing it down generation to generation. Be the person who breaks that curse. Be the person who is a mentor and listens and gives advice and who is humble and has an open heart and can let things go easily. Don't be the person who is dangerous and volatile and is quick to explode and is dangerous like or unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? So really think about that. Do you want to be known for being kind and good hearted and humble or do you want to be known as somebody that people don't trust or um always has is up to no good or has hidden agendas or you never know what's on your mind like you can't read them they're just they're too far like lost or um battling their own demons so to speak so really think about that 
again, I feel like that was another message in itself. Somebody needed to hear that. Free yourself. Life is much more simpler. The simpler, the better. Um, it's more rewarding. You owe it to yourself. Just remember that. Okay? All right, last card. Knight of Swords, yeah. You're going to be delivering a message or a message um, about some type of existence that is now being acknowledged that can now exist on the surface in the 3D. Um, you're going to be tolerant to the fact now. So you're going to not only swipe it off or be fear or not um, be afraid of it anymore. It's not going to cause you to be stuck in your head. Now you can experience it and be at one with it be at peace with whatever this is for you so i hope this helped guys um let me know in the comments down below all right stay blessed truly take care y'all and till next time bye now